Now these are some linear factor problems that I want you to pay close attention to. What happens is people get careless or they make silly mistakes because of this X in the very front. Now this video is just like the other video. Basically I already know that X equals negative 4. That's one of my answers because negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Again I know that this answer happens to be positive 5 because 5 minus 5 is 0. But this x in the very front, you can't forget about it. And people say, well, what is it? Well, because x is all by itself, you get to say x equals 0. So that makes sense. 0 equals 0. Um, however, on this side, you'll notice I've put the same exact equation, but I've given it a power of 3 right here on top. Well, people then say, well, what's the answer? And they'll start moving things from this side of the equation to the other. Okay, not necessary. Not necessary. Basically, you get the same negative 4 as one answer. You get your same positive 5 as another answer. This power of 3 doesn't change anything. What it really says is that you have x times x times x times x plus 4 times x minus 5 equals 0. So technically you have x equals 0 three times in the answer. Kids will ask me, Mr. Moore, do I have to write all three zeros as my answer? And this is what's called a multiplicity. And so it's not necessary to write all threes, but you definitely have to state that this answer has a multiplicity of three because there are three zeros in it. So you would decide, write all the answers or state the proper vocabulary, but it's your choice.